daily stand-up meetings. They can be terrifying for someone with basic English skills. And that's because talking in front of other people and being the center of attention while you're explaining something in English when you don't feel confident doing so can be a real challenge. What is a daily stand-up meeting? A daily stand-up meeting is a short meeting that lasts for about 15 minutes and it's meant to plan for the next 24 hours. It helps the team be on the same page because it creates an understanding of what everyone in the team is working on. It's usually held in the morning, every day at the same time and place. And it's called stand-up because people are usually standing up to keep the energy high. That's very important in these kind of meetings. Um, they have to be short and, and sharp and you have to focus and contribute. Daily stand-up meetings can be um, held in two ways. The first method is called round robin. And in this method, people are sitting in a circle and they go one by one answering three questions. What did I work on yesterday? What am I working on today? And what is blocking me? We're going to go back to these questions later in the video. The other method is called um, walking the board. And in this method, there's a board with all the tasks and each team member um, stands up and picks the tasks they're working on. And they talk about the progress they made and the blockers and other people in the team can um, offer to help with those blockers to help this person make progress. What is the challenge with these stand-up meetings? Well, if English is not your first language and you're struggling a little bit with English, you may face two main challenges. The first one is not knowing how to say what you want to say. And the second one is not paying attention to what the other people are saying because you're too worried about what you have to say. And if you do that, you're missing the point of the daily stand-up meeting. So how do you avoid that? By preparing your answers to the three questions that we mentioned before. Let's see how to do that. How do you answer these questions? To answer these questions, the first thing that you have to take into account is the tense that you use to answer them. So for example, to answer the question, what did I work on yesterday? You have to use the simple past and say something like, yesterday I worked on this and that. To answer the question, what am I working on today? You can use the future and say something like, today I will work on this and that, or today I am going to work on this and that. You can also use uh, the future continues and say, today I will be working on this and that. And you can also use the simple present and say, um, today my plan is to do this and that. Now, how do you answer the question, what is blocking me? Well, here you can use the simple present and say my main block or my main impediment is this and that. And you can also use the present continuous and say what is blocking me or what is preventing me from making progress is this and that. Let me give you some concrete examples. Yesterday, I worked on a bug that was causing the invoice price not to have GST included. Today, I'm going to work on generating a PDF receipt. What's blocking me is the integration with Xero because I'm waiting for the credentials. Yesterday, I worked on getting the survey responses from the provider. Today, I will finish that and start working on the address validator component. Nothing is currently blocking me. Yesterday, I worked on the test scripts for the ordering flow. Today, I will start the test automation for invoice generation. I can't move forward with testing in preprod because I'm waiting for that environment to be set up. So when other person is talking about um, what's blocking them, you can offer to help. And for that, you can use several expressions. For example, you can say, I can help you out with that, or I can give you a hand with that, let me help you with that, or why don't I give you a hand or help you? Um, do you want me to help you? Would you like me to help you? Or would you like me to give you a hand? I'd be happy to help you. I'd be happy to give you a hand. I'd be glad to help. Or do you want me to have a look? 
So remember this: confidence comes with preparation and practice. Prepare well. You already know what the questions are going to be. So you can um, write your answers in Spanish and translate it into English using the Google Translate or any other translator that you know. But please, please, please use your common sense to improve those translations. You can also write your answers on a Google Doc and see what the autocorrect feature suggests. So you can improve it that way. And make sure that you know how to pronounce the verbs in the past, both irregular and regular. And then repeat. So repeat answering these questions. And why do I talk about repetition? Because the more you say your answers, the easier and the more natural they will come in the future. You can kind of, because the questions are always the same, you can kind of memorize a template in your mind and then you fill in the blanks with whatever tasks you're doing at the moment. So remember, preparation and repetition, practice. That was it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and all the best in your next daily stand-up meeting. See you next time. Bye.